Okay, you're going to get a sheet of long white paper and I want you to write your name on the back and your code. Flip it over and then you're going to get a stencil that I have made and you are going to lay this on your paper and you want the top and the bottom edges to meet and then just trace around your edges. Okay, and then if you would like to, you can draw lines separating each, se each section, or you can choose not to do that. I think I'll do that lightly, because I don't know if I want to keep those lines or not. So I just used a ruler to help me keep those lines straight. Okay, now in this, this is going to be our version of our own totem pole telling a story about our life. So I want you to choose a story, and I want you to begin your story at the bottom of the totem pole, and then you will tell the story going upwards, okay? Now, the top part is the most important part of the totem, so really think about what you want to put there, the thing that means the most, okay? So pick one story about your life. So a story that I'm going to tell is when I was 17, I traveled to New York City, and I sang at Carnegie Hall with a choir. So I'm going to tell my story, and this first section is going to be me rehearsing. The second section is going to be me in the plane flying to New York. The third section is going to be me on stage at Carnegie Hall singing. And then the top of my totem is going to just be my face. And it's going to be me singing, showing how happy I am with the experience. Um, and that's how I'm going to draw mine. So I'm going to start with a pencil, and then I will outline with a Sharpie. Alright, so I have drawn and I have outlined with Sharpie here um, the story of me when I went to New York. Very happy girl because it was a really exciting um, thing to do. So here is my totem pole. Now I would color this in and you can have your choice when you color. So you can do mixed media, you can do like crayons and markers or you can do temper cakes in crayons, whatever you want to do. Now because some of my shapes are very small I'll probably do these in colored pencil so I can use a really fine tip. So I'll probably mix maybe colored pencil and maybe something else. I still have to think about it. But you want to add your color after you outline everything with Sharpie. Okay, so I've colored all the smaller shapes with colored pencil. So I wanted to mix my media. So now I'm going to use uh, temper cakes and I am going to paint sort of the bigger shapes. Just really because I think it'll look nice combining the two and because I want to. So when you use temper cakes you're going to want to get your paintbrush wet and you rub it on top of one of the colors and you paint. Now you don't want to be too rough with your brush though. Both in painting and in getting the paint off the cake. Don't be too rough because that can, that can hurt the hairs of the brush and we don't want to do that. So at the edges I go very, very slow, and when you notice it's getting a little dry, that just means you need more water on your brush and more paint on your brush. so my story is complete here um, and I'm actually going to cut mine out and I'm going to try to stay um, on the edge I want to still see my black sharpie outline that I used to outline all my little sections so I'm going to go kind of slow here Alright, so now you want to get a sheet of paper and you want to um, mount your artwork onto it. So we are 
essentially what we're doing is we are making it a little bit nicer by putting a color behind it and this also helps because we cut it out we're hiding any mistakes where we might have got outside our lines. So what I'm doing is I'm making a frame and then I just put a wavy line of glue down the center and I'm going to lay it on black paper. Now your paper doesn't have to be black, I chose black. But you want to have a little bit of room up at the top above the top of your totem and then a little bit of room at the bottom as well and then obviously room on the sides. And this is just going to make the artwork look more complete. It's almost like you're putting it in a picture frame. And here you are telling the story, something of your life, being inspired by Native American totem poles, telling the story from the bottom to the top.